evaluate integral over c z square plus 1 by z minus 1 into z minus 2 into dz where c is the circle mod z equal to 3 using Cauchy integral formula. Okay, so here the given integral is integral over c z square plus 1 by z minus 1 into z minus 2 into dz. Okay, to evaluate this integral, I want to use Cauchy integral formula. For that, I want to find out singularity of the given function. Okay, to find the singularity points, put the denominator equal to 0. Put the denominator equal to 0, z minus 1 into z minus 2 equal to 0, which implies that z equal to 1 and z equal to 2. Okay, so there are two singular points. Okay, next I want to verify which are lies inside the circle C, which are lies outside the circle C. Okay, here the given circle is mod z equal to 3. The meaning is the radius is 1 and center is origin. Okay, so radius is 3. If you put 1 here, the value is less than the radius. So that it is lies inside the circle C. And if you put 2 here, mod 2 equal to 3. So mod 2 value is also 2. 2 is less than the radius. So both the values are less than the radius. Therefore, both are lies inside the circle C. Okay, actually this is the circle with the center origin radius 3 okay so here both the points are less than the radius definitely both the points are lies inside the circle c okay so now the given integral integral over c z square plus 1 by z minus 1 into z minus 2 into dz okay so here both the points are lies inside the circle c if anyone lies outside the circle C, we can take into numerator. That point or that value only we can take into numerator. But here, two points are lies inside the circle C. So that I want to split it into two integral. If one point lies inside the circle, one integral is enough. So here both the point, two points are lies inside the circle C. So that I am going to write into two integrals. Okay. So by two integral is by taking one in the numerator. So, z square plus 1 by z minus 1 by z minus 2 into dz plus another point take into numerator. Interval over c, z square plus 1 by z minus 2 by z minus 1 into dz. So, this is the procedure. If two points or two singular points are lies inside the circle c, I want to split it into two integrals by taking one term in the numerator and another term in the numerator. So this is the procedure. Suppose if one point only lies inside the circle, that outside point taken in numerator, it will be converted into only one integral. Okay. Sometime you may have three point three terms in the denominator. If all the three points are lies inside the circle, you will be getting three separate integrals. So this is a procedure by taking one in one 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 one, one term in the numerator. Okay, so now I want to apply Cauchy integral formula. So what is Cauchy integral formula? Interval over c, f of z by z minus a into dz equal to 2 pi i into f of z, f of a, 2 pi a into f of a. Okay, here in the first integral, interval over c, f of z by z minus a. What is the formula? 2 pi i into f of a, a is 2 f of a plus here f of z is the numerator z square plus 1 by z minus a but there are two integrals so that you first term you take it as f1 of z that is a is 2 okay next one integral over c f of z by z minus a what is the formula 2 pi i into f of a a is 1 but here you take it as f2 second function so f2 take this is equation number 1 where where f1 of z is equal to this is f1 of z z square plus 1 by z minus 1 from this i want to find out f1 of 2 what is f1 of 2 2 square 4 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 so that 4 plus 1 5 5 by 1 5 
Next, F2 of Z. What is F2 of Z? F2 of Z is, this is second function. From the second integral, this is F2 of Z. Z square plus 1 by Z minus 2. From this, I want to find F2 of 1. What is F2 of 1? 1 square 1, 1, 1 plus 1 divided by, substitute 1 here, 1 minus 2 minus 1. So, 2 by minus 1 is equal to minus 2. So, we found F1 of 2 and F2 of 1. Substituting in the first equation, you will be getting answer. Okay. So, what is first integral? First equation, interval over C, Z square plus 1 by Z minus 1 into z minus 2 int d z equal to 2 pi 2 pi i int f1 of 2 what is f1 of 2 it is 5 plus 2 pi i int f2 of 1 what is f2 of 1 minus 2 okay so now multiply 5 to are 10 10 pi i and multiply this to minus 4 pi i which is equal to 10 minus 4 6 pi i. So, 6 pi i is the answer of the problem.